that. It's got 50 stitches on it, so we'll go 50 50. What's got 100 stitches? We'll go 50 50 each side and click her on. Oh, using the, the um, numbers on the yeah. on the bed of the on machine? The, yeah. Yep. Oh, they had a knot. That's probably why it broke. There's a knot there. It's old wool. No, no, but it has a knot in it. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it is old wool. I haven't bought any wool for years. In fact, I've been giving it away. Now, before you run that across, can I just see how you got it through there went oh. down through the top there no it just goes in like that and into that the little gate. Just and a little the, gate shut, oh, shut the I gate see. shut the gate don't forget yes i did shut the gate shut the gate don't forget to shut the gate yes because okay. if you forget to shut the gate you're in the middle of it and it all falls off yep okay yeah. good to know and there if you had the ribber on there's actually a thing there that you can hook that onto. but you can just put a a clothes peg on the end of it or anything yep clothes peg it. yep Ah, that didn't cast on those first ones. Right, we'll do that again. So it missed a couple of them. It missed a whole lot there, and it shouldn't have done. I mean, it didn't. That's right, that Probably was just a practice they one. they weren't cleaning, Kathy. Yes, I think so. CRC. Yes, Mum. CRC oh, makes lots of things. On oh, my shopping list. It's already on the list. So, um, the CRC, is that a spray or is it a liquid? It's a spray. It's a spray. Yeah. And where should we be mostly spraying it? Um, on here, on the bottom of the carriage. On the underneath yes. of the carriage? Yeah. What about all on the top of this and across all the well, tops of the needles? Well, I would give it a little bit of a spray. Yeah, I think just And then get a bit it. of, if you've got a wire, a bit of, um, oh, you know, what do you call them? Um, the pot screen cleaners, you yeah, know, yeah, steel yeah, pads, steel, steel pad or something like that, and just give it a fine wipe over it. It might get a lot of this yeah. off. I don't know. Right now, I'm going to do this. A there we go. Way. Shut the gate. I'm going to do it a different way this time, seeing that it didn't. Pick yes, up. that's what I've got to be in there because I didn't have that. You just put it through, and it's not on hold. That's normal. If it was on there, on H for hold, it wouldn't work. But everything's off. So is it more reliable to cast on if you pull those uh, needles out a lot like you just did now um, with your again, hands? See, that hasn't casted on again, do you? It's missed a few, has it's it? It's missed all these ones here again, like it did last time. Oh, okay, I see. Now, I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be doing that. So it missed all those first ones? Yes, yeah. same as it did last time. And it shouldn't be doing that. It should be missing them. So what's this thing you're clicking with there? That's a weaving brush for when you do weaving. You can do a pattern that comes out like woven. Um, you just lay the wool over and you do a pattern with a weaving brush. It's a mm. weaving stitch, is, you know. And, okay. Yeah. So with the, the buttons down in the normal position, that's normal there. And only if it's up. up then they're, then they're, they're, what they're doing is if you have them up all the time, they wear out. And then when you go to use, you can't use them because they're rubbing along this. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. But what do they actually do? Do they just give a different effect to the it's look another, of the it's stitch? Another, no, it's another thing you can do with different colours. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You can make it look as if you've woven it on a loom. Okay. Yeah. So, Fair yeah. enough. Clearly, I don't know enough about looms because <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, let me turn that up again. Oh, yeah. Alright, knitted. Should I make this 
see what that goes with and go around the tins if that's alright. It is a bit tight, even at that. I'll bring it up to see and see if it's a bit yarn. Once it's cleaned up. Oh yes, yes. You'll find it'll go yeah. easier. Now at the moment this punch card thing isn't working. No, because you uh, haven't got it set. And I don't so to take it out. If the switch is at the back, that's disconnected. If it's in the middle, it's disconnected. If it's back there, it's doing double length. So it do oh, I see. It's a three yes, position it's a switch. Three position. And yep. at the front, it's actually knitting. And what you do is you have it starting at the start, and they haven't marked the start. And the start is usually seven rows. So we'll just move it round a bit. Now oh, there you are, they've got a mark there, so we'll leave it on there, we'll move it on to there. And well, can we use this now? Yeah. Even with this set up? Yep. Where's that red wall we had? Even though it's going to fall off on us every now and again. Okay. But otherwise, to not use the punch card system, that, that little switch has to be in the middle. Yeah, in, right, in the middle yeah, position is, middle is disconnected. Position. Yeah. No, well, not only that. No, you can leave it in the middle. I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll do a couple of rows and show you. I'll you why in a minute, see? And then I can tap them with, with the needles. On the brother it's really good, the needles come out that are selected so you know exactly what's selected. Yep, yep. Now, I will put that at this end and I'm going to put this on knit card. Knit card, see? which so means the punch card. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to turn that round to knit card. And, and sorry, now, what, what, was levers, no, what was the normal position normal, when it's on normal? normal. It, actually, normal it actually says normal, doesn't it? Yeah, it's NL. Oh, normal e or lace. Normal or lace. Okay, good to know. Because your lace maker is what's doing the pattern, not this. Okay. Because with anything else, this is pulling up the pattern. Okay, okay. Because your lace, lace maker is a different carriage. Which you're yep, yep, over there. which is the carriage we've got yeah. right there. Right, yep. now we've got this set on KC knit card. Yep. And we're going to do fair off, so we're going to do one row to select it. And see, there you see what it's selected. Oh, it's wow, that's... Set, three and three. And that, that is the same as what's on the punch yeah, card yeah. there. Now, we're going to push this button in, which says MC. MC, yep. yeah. And we're going to put our other lot of wool in. And it gets threaded up the same way. I can see you having a play with this, Kathy. Now, it's going to do, and that's got to be unlocked. And so what's unlocked? Unlock the card, otherwise you get just a line of, whoopsie, a line of the same stuff. See, that's, that was there, yep. you have to unlock it. So you, you want that sitting there, you know, ready to, when you want to go, and then as soon as you've got it going, and if you look at that, you'll see that those will swap over. You should be able to see a little bit of orange through there. Oh, wow. So how this will go, I don't know, because it is thick and wool. Oh, that. There it is. Don't know whether the loss got in it or what. <laughs> well, not if it's acrylic, Mum. So do you always have to put this in the middle for one run back? No, no, just put it in the middle and leave it there. It's got to keep, and when you want to stop the card from knitting and just do some plain again, that's when you'll put it back in the middle. But it is in the middle. Mm. I'll put it back at the end, I should say. Oh, okay. And if you want to do double the length of the pattern, some patterns look better if they're double linked, you push it to the back there and it'll do two rows before it moves the carriage. Oh, okay. So, so a normal back. position is forward yeah. for normal knitting. Yeah. And if you're using the punch card, it's there. Yeah. And if you're using the punch card, two rows each thing, it's yeah. it's yeah. there. But the thing is, if you're not, you if you haven't got a punch card in there, you don't need to worry about that at all. Yes, correct. Because yeah. it's got nothing to read. It's reading. It reads a punch card seven rows below, way down inside. But in the front, <coughs> it's not reading. <coughs> so if you, it effectively disconnects the punch about card. That. You don't. Yeah. Have, yeah. Only okay. if you've got a punch card in, do you need to do yeah. that. Okay. I'm just going to pull a bit of this wool through to the next knot, next toll. See there. Oh, okay, you want to have a in this? There's a bowl there. Oh, it's just fallen off. Oh, it's fallen off anyway. Hole here. Right, do you want to have a gut doing this? Um, yes, go on, you have a gut. 
No, I'd rather just get a nice clear shot of you doing it. Um, okay, so Across. Yeah. And did it nip both yeah. oh. You've lost the wool now. Have we? Oh, we've lost the other one. Yes, so those needles are now jumped off. Does this turn around by itself? Yes. yes. Is there some mechanism in here makes it turn? That in under there it makes it turn. Oh, it does this power it? No. The carriage push? No. It's That's because handy. you've got. I'll like take it off, I'll show you. Oh, that's right. Uh, but anyway, no, the point is it's... i you to explain it to you, because otherwise it's... You don't... Uh, you know, now, if you look at the bottom of this carriage here... Yeah. See, now, at the moment, it's on... What's it on? It's on every... It's on just on normal knitting. Just yep. plain knitting. Now, we're going to push that button then, and you watch what happens. Yep, something flipped Now, over. the needles are going to go around that one. Okay. As well as the normal one. And that's how you get the two colours. Yep. Does that make sense? It does. And now, some... if you're doing tuck stitch, which is another pattern, and you push that to, because that says plain, so you push that to get it back to stocking stitch again. Now, if you're doing tuck, and tuck you usually have to have two buttons in, so you're going to put that button in and that button in. Whoopsie, put them in together on this machine, obviously. Yep. Yeah. Um, and see, it's got two different ones again, because before you are coming through there, now you're coming through here. Yep. Yeah. And the plain, which is um, where am I there? Slip stitch thing, will be different again. So they all have a reason for working and what they do. It's, whoever invented this is very clever. Very clever. Yes. Very clever. And you've also got. I wonder how, how old they are. This this general um, this general. That one there, I got my 891, which is what this is. I got that, I was what it was a ward of estate. And then when my, and I nursed my mother after, when she had a stroke. But I mean, were they around in the 1920s? Are Earlier been... ones were, yes, but not but, like this. But, um, but It was probably about the late 50s, 60s that these sort of ones, punch cards machines started to come into New Zealand. Mm. Okay. Mm, wouldn't it be? About the early sixties. Yeah. I wonder when they. I that, wonder when they invented this been, general concept of machine, though. Oh, machines have been going since eighteen hundreds. Okay. If if you Google, ask Mister Google, he'll tell you because they used to have sock machines doing this exactly what we're doing here, um, mm. and it was in England. And I can't remember what his name was. I think, but don't quote me. I think it was Thomas somebody rather that had them because mm. I've got pictures of it at home, and I, I had I did a um. Oh, would they do something about the history of machines for something? Yeah. Don't ask me what it was for. Many, many years ago. And um, it was really interesting reading it. Yeah. It really was. Well, my, as I say... See, I knitted on a Toyota. Was original prior. Mm. Yes, the prior machine was what my mother-in-law had one yeah. of those. Yeah. And it was a double bed machine. You couldn't have a single oh, bed machine. No, it was only a single bed. Was it? Right? Oh, Nana's was a double bed one. All right, so you've actually taken the carriage right off, yes. but you've still got some knitting underway. Yes, but I've got nothing here where these needles are forward because they've jumped off. When, because it come out of there. Yeah, um, oh, the red one, because yeah. the red one came loose yeah. anyway. Yeah, okay. it, yeah. So now you, you wouldn't, you'd have to try and pick those all up, which you don't want to do. But what I'll do is, I've got an easier Take way than that. Out. No, what we'll do is we'll put every, we'll put the middle one back and it will knit itself to start with. Which ones we want? The middle ones of these. Go right back and those, and we'll do two rows like, I mean this is alright for a sample, you couldn't do it in a garment unfortunately, because all this is going to run undone. Through there, shut the gate. Yeah, and I've got done normal because I don't want it to pattern. I'll do a couple of rows like this. You see, that's picked up again there, and then I'll bring these ones up. And they will, oopsie, I don't want those ones. And they will all knit. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's normal because the switch here yep. is on normal. Yeah. Um, this is still on pattern or, no, or using the punch card. No, that's not doing anything. That's no. just sitting there. So why isn't it working at the moment? Because, because we need to turn this one round. Turn the knobs. That's right. We need to turn this to KL. KC. 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 I think is it? Yeah, KC. That says Nick card. And so now it will engage the punch yeah. card but mechanism. You need to lock it first for that first row. So bring it forward and lock it, so it doesn't move. I would never use a punch card. Yes. Okay. For the first row. And we need another colour. Yeah, well we can put another colour in there. Because the first we're not going to, we're missing everything this way. Now this is where we put the other colour in. Ah, okay. Then so when you're starting off with the other colour. You don't have to have it in. It's not going to knit anyway, that first row. But Second the, colour. But the first row, just yeah. with the one colour. Cool. And that goes in there. And now we've got to. Now is that in the same gateway? No, no. It's in this B. So you've got A and B. This is a B wall. That's the A wall. The blue is the A wall. It just slides in there like that. Okay. You have to open it. You only open it to get let the front one out. Okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now a lot of people. I've, I've got a friend who knitted all well, the business I worked for for her when I worked for her when she was in business. Um, she puts her foot on this, and that's enough to sew up half the garment. She reckons at the side seam. She used to put a foot on the wall that was on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people do all sorts of things. It's incredible. Um, like with area, we have um, different people come to area and what come to the Brother Club, which is actually called the Machine Knitting. Christchurch Machine Knitting Club is its official name, but we just, everybody calls it the Brother Club. And it's quite funny to see how different people do oh. different things. I noticed one of the books we have is for a singer machine. Yeah. What percentage of the market of the machines out there are Brother? Would there be oh, half the or three quarters no, no, of them? the biggest. Um, depending on where you live. If brothers, you live in... I think, uh, brothers have the got most. the better name. Okay. Yes. Um, would, so would they be 90% of the ones out there would be brothers? There was a brother? shop uh, in Colombo Street at one time. Yes, there was. No, it's not there now, unfortunately. That's where I bought my 891 yeah. from that shop in Colombo Street. Mm. Yeah. No, I know the brothers. So as an 891, this is one of the later machines. There was... There was only one more machine come into New Zealand after this, and that was an 894, which is the one that I'm using. Um, I get people give me machines, yep. and if somebody gives me a machine, I give a machine away. Mm -hmm. But this particular one, I bought, I bought a 965, which is an electronic one, and you could pattern across the whole 200 needles. I was going to say, I heard of one that wow. it plugs in the electric somehow and it is patternable. Yeah, and it's, the, it's only the pattern and I, part. And I was trying to get a description from someone, and I said, like, well, is it a bit like a telephone dial, like a number pad or whatever? No, no. Um, because it wasn't punched cards. No, no it's said. not a punch card. No, there are there are um, what they call. Because she um, said it was brother, and she said it was programmable, um, and there was a way of doing it. There was a Oh, what was it? God, I had one too, and I can't remember what it, what number it was. And it was a sixty stitch repeat, and it was electronic. But you still put a card in it. But it was a in the red the electronics. You had to use a well. It said a special pen, but it wasn't a special pen. It was actually a, a, a not a colouring in a like a like a ballpoint pen, but it was in black. Mm. But it was, um, and of course. They were out in the shops in those days, and that was the very first electronic one. Um, nine, nine, ten that's right, it was a nine, ten. And because these are all eights, the eight, eight, this is an eight, this is an eight, nine, one, but it was a nine, ten that come they in, and that did 60 stitch repeat across the bed. And you had to, in here, you had this area you put them up what they called a miler sheet because it was sort of it was um, like a clear, opaque sort of yep, sheet, yeah, and um. And it had little holes up the side so that it could hook, uh, go around itself. And so you still joined it like you did this. Now And then the next one was a 930. And the 930 was the first 200 stitch machine. You could have a different pattern on every bit of it. How many stitches is 200. this? 200. Oh, that is 200. Mm, okay. Yeah, 200. And just a point, what's this knob here? That's for the knit leader. That's for this. That there you push down and turn around for this. And it, it turns itself around, you know how many rows you've done? That's what that's Oh, it's for. just a counter. Yes, it's, well, you, when you're putting the knit leader in, you need to use that to turn it, roll it around to get it to where it starts. Okay. Yeah. Because we've got, 
various things yeah, along here. Yeah, that's all for the knit leader. All of that's all for the knit leader. So what's a knit leader? The knit leader is that little wee thing with the number things in it. That little wee round tube you had. Oh, okay. For if you're using that. Yes, if yep. you're using that. Oh, okay. But you won't be using that for a while. So all, all of this and that is to, to do with that. With, yeah. So we can just disconnect there, that. Yeah, yep. yeah. So all you need to worry about. All right. Is so you've got a second. Is um, this here? Most of your stuff's on here, and when you do that, you need. That's all you're worried about. That little bit. Alright, so you've got a second colour in, you open the gate, yeah. but only to put the first one in. Yeah. The second one you just tuck just in. Tuck in, it just, it just slides in there. Just got to make sure it's in there. And then you push it across. Except I didn't put that in, did I? You didn't remind oh, me. Did you have to push in You've the... got to push in that so that it's actually going to knit. Because that, that's... Um, it's the second yeah. colour. Yeah, oh. that's for the second colour. Clever. And that's, un that's, did we unlock that? No, we didn't. We will now. We've done one of those. And it's just, that's decent. whatever. In there, you're um, all broken again. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Uh, and I've forgotten already, but in the forward position is normal. The forward position is locked. In the middle is. In the, is the pattern yeah, on the punch card. Yeah, and, and if that's, you go right, that's it's double, double pattern. Double length. Pattern, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but it will tell you that all in here. Okay. You know, I always say to people, if all else fails, read, read the book. Read the book, yes. Yeah. I mean, nobody reads the book. What do you want to read a book for? I'm, so I'm these are all the punch them. cards. If you've got punch cards with it, this we've, is... We've got a variety mm, in there. I haven't even had them out of the this packet. This here is um, all the different punch cards. And you can do single motive, so you could put a, a, a puppy in the middle like that. You can do that, and that's what they call single motive. And that's working on the punch card. And all you do is you have a piece of the main colour of the yarn and every row you wrap it around. If a carriage is on that side, you wrap it around. If a carriage is on this side, you wrap this side one. And it just stops it from falling apart. Because what's going to hook it up? Because um, otherwise you've got great big long floats. But you yeah, can do a single motor. Yeah, big going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you can do a shame single... I've been so ill in bed since we got it. Yeah, and there's just a... And that's a weaving pattern. And I remember doing that, and I was actually learning to weave at the time. I went with a friend. We went to a weaving classes, and I had a loom, and she had a loom, and I just found it was too slow. And um, I brought this piece along, something like that, and she said, oh, you're doing very well. I said, oh, I did that on the knitting machine. She said, oh, well, I don't think you need to be here then. I thought, no, I can do a dance eye clicker on the knitting machine. <laughs> and, and what and were they weaving? Like weaving, yeah. Were they weaving with wool? Or yeah, with weaving. A, or with a... Cotton cotton anything, thread anything, or no wool. Mainly, it's big. Usually, weaving is done with big wool, with thick, quite thick wool. Oh, okay. Yeah, or even just sheep fleece. You know, you break the fleece off, or stretch the fleece. Yeah. Virtually, yeah. virtually raw. Mm. Well, yeah. unspun. Yeah. Unspun. Normally, yeah. you spin it first, eh? Yeah, but this will be unspun. You can do weaving with that. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. So these are the, these are the ones that are on the punch card that come with this book. With, if they've got the proper ones with it. And you see, and there's your lace. That's a fine lace, and there's no holes with a fine lace. And that's um, normal lace where you've got the holes. So it's the same punch card, but just what it does. So that's fine and normal by the looks of that. It is too. It's fine and normal. Mm. Yeah. So um, All right. you can and get a lot of variety out of the different things. And, and how do you cast off when you right, okay. close off your stitches? So cast that, off, that? you... Take your, well this is how I yeah, cast okay. off, Yeah. this is how I cast off, I go always cast off from this side, so the last row, I've got no needle on that, nothing wool on that, the last row you do on the highest tension, well with this one you can't do it on the highest tension, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this through a bit and have it loose and just sort of let it run through your hands. like that and then you break the wool I won't break the wool because you use it again and then this now this is how I do it anybody else everybody will teach you a different way they teach you the way that they I forgot well yours is apparently the right way no it's not it's my uh, way it's 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 yeah. your right way which is right yeah. enough for us yeah, and, and I get quite fast with it you won't be fast as ah no you sausage you all jumped off there you know? Swear at it. Yeah, I will swear at it too. Yeah. There's machine knitting language, you know that, don't you? There's English, French and machine knitting language. 
some of these won't be won't have stick needles on them now pull it all to the forward now because you haven't got a latch tool but you have got a spare needle in here I'll just use that and show you because the latch tool is exactly the same as yeah. that right I'm going to have to sit down to do this you can still lean on the back of it but I'm going to have to sit down because That's otherwise right. I won't be able to see yeah. what I'm doing and get my bang, oh, gammy knee you stood so long my gammy knee out of the way and this is oh, so that's a bulky one that's no good for this that's machine. That's one to go in. That, no, that's a bulky one. Needle. It's a bulky needle. It's oh. not a mate. It's not a, no, a standard no, no, gauge. No, because no. no, I thought it's too big, and I've got a bulky. Sorry, I recognise that as a bulky one. So does that mean it was off a different machine? Yeah, it's off a bulky machine. A what? What? A bulky machine. Is that another brand? Yeah, no, same brand, but it does double knit. Okay. No, there isn't a. Ordinary one. Ordinary. So did some people take out all their needles and put in a thicker needle to do a special no, no, double? No, 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 you wouldn't fit them in there. That, that needle would not go in there and go down far enough. It wouldn't go down far enough in the back. Oh, it actually yeah. had a different yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, a machine, device, a different bed. Different, yeah, different bed. So I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to take one out of the end. Because it doesn't seem to have any spears there. We've got lots of... Um, other bits and bobs. Oh, have a look in there. Oh, there might be, and this here might have a, a, a oh, no, it's got needles in it. it I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Something I can't have because I haven't got it. I want a latch to, oh, Philip Morris, good old Philip. Oh, Val Carey, she came from Kaipo, yeah. I know Val, well I knew Val when yes. she was alive. I was yeah. going to say, I'm assuming she's passed away. We, no, told, she we, were told it was we were told it was a deceased. We were told it was a deceased It was uh, quite a while since Val died. Yeah. It'll this... be five, six years ago. And her name's in some of the books. Yeah, Val Carey, you yeah, know, I know was her very son well. son in law had it? Oh yes, no, I know Val very, very well. I knew Val very, very well. And that was when he was out at Rickerton, yeah. Yeah. Good old Val. Yeah, Hello, did... someone's at the door. Yeah. She did a lot of Have you left your walking stick behind, Mum? I'll just leave. I'll just leave. Um, Mum went out yesterday. She's obviously left her walking stick behind one. again. I'm walking stick. Come and see my knitting machine. Oh, I've got the car it's on. It's all right for a minute. And to cast off, now this is how I do it, as I say. Yep. I put it in there. Are you having a look, Mum? That's the end. This is the end of the wall. Just wait a minute until the comes back in. I put it in there. Pull it off. Gently go into the next one, and when you go into the next one, that's gone in behind the latch. Oh, I'm going to get it in the next one, and I want the latch to stay open. Yes, in essence. Mm. <laughs> with Canterbury's with best. This here, you this know, here's, I was so This isn't the right piece of thing you have to have. See, so you just keep going and in the, like that. The day I got it, I was ill, and I, you know I've been mm. ill since. See what I'm doing? You want to have a go at doing it? You always do the last row that's caught on, the, on a loose attention. Come off, you. Yeah, I just don't it's remember ever something. casting off. Well, you must have cast it off, or else you took I it off and did it by done. hand. Yes, I just Some don't people do it. do that, cast them off and do them by hand, and I think, what have you got a knitting machine for? I've also got a linker. I don't know if you've got a linker. Oh. It was an extra attachment, but I'd rather do it with this, but I'm. I don't like this because it's not thick enough in my hand, but... Yes, sir. Uh, this kind lady has come... <coughs> All the way from Rangiora? To uh, show us how it works. Oh, lovely. The kind it of looks work. far too complicated for a meter. No, it's not. It's actually... Yes. Thumb. Yes, <laughs> yes it's, thumb. it's a more... They really are. More complicated than the one I had. All right, Mum, well, you need to be able to make sure you can do that. Yeah. So do you need to go and get your glasses from the other room? No, I know how to do the casting off. Yeah, you just said you didn't. <laughs> she knows how to do casting off. Bye. 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 So I'll leave you to... So Let that's how, stick there that's how yeah. it's casted off like that. Oh. And it's a full cast off, you know. And then you get to the end, you just put the last one in it. And through the loop, like this here, would loop would be pulled right through. But until you get a latch tool, what I might do is, when I'm on next in town, I'm in town next week, am I? Wait a minute. This week's horrendous. Um, got guides tomorrow. We're going to Willy Vago's and I'm going to make pizzas. That's going to be interesting. And brown, uh, brownies are. I've got guides tomorrow night. Brownies in the afternoon, guys tomorrow night. 
um, Friday I've got to have three grand 